first of all, I have to explain that um, rationality as it's used in the name of the Center for the Study of Rationality is not the way it's used in everyday life. The meaning of the word rationality in the, uh, <coughs> the way we study it here on the third floor of the Feldman building is um, like it's used in economics, and that's not the everyday use. In economics, a rational person is one who does the best he can to promote his goals. That's a rational person. It's not... Uh, it's not somebody who thinks logically. It's not somebody who thinks scientifically. It's just somebody who does the best he can to promote his own goals. That's rationality in economics, and that's rationality here in the Center for the Study of Rationality. Mm -hmm. Basically, the Center for the Study of, Ration of Rationality is a, a place for studying a, game theory and its applications, okay, with a lot of stress on the applications. Some of it on the theory, but a lot of stress on the applications. And game theory, uh, what is it about? Game theory is about um, people interacting with each other or entities. They don't have to be people. They could be countries. They could be corporations. They could be political parties. Uh, they could be uh, species of living things interacting with each other. And each one tries to promote his own goals. And then you see where you're led to when you try to promote your goals, but you are aware that the other side or sides is also trying to promote their goals, okay? And this leads to... Uh, uh, a, a complex interaction and uh, and and that but but that's what happens in a lot of the world okay uh, so so um, uh, that that so when we study rationality is I want to try to promote my goals and I understand that you're trying to promote your goals and your goals are not exactly the same as mine, although uh, they're not opposite. It's not, most games are not like chess, okay? Where I win, you lose, okay? Uh, it's not like that. There are win-win games and the most important games in real life are win-win games here where both sides can maybe not get the absolute best possible for them, but uh, both sides can uh, do rather well. Now, um, so it's really the applications of game theory, and we have applications of game theory in, mainly in economics. Those are the most important applications, but we also have them in uh, political science. We have them in, in uh, law. We have them in biology. Uh, because uh, living things can uh, compete with each other, and in a sense, each tries has goals and tries to promote them. And uh, um, or you, we can think of living things as having goals and trying to promote them. And uh, uh, and uh, did I mention law and and finance and business and and. So game theory has a lot of applications for those things, and that's the sense in which we use the word rationality. And there's absolutely no contradiction between that and and uh, uh, and uh, being a uh, an observant uh, Jew. No, there's no contradiction between that at all. An observant Jew also has goals, and he tries to promote them, and uh, 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 he is acting in that sense entirely rationally.